Okay, so this is going to be the hardest of the group. Basically, you're going to be using both equations together. Now, notice that frequency is in both, so that's going to be your kind of go-between, your link between these two equations. So I'm either going to give you the wavelength and ask you to go from wavelength to frequency and then frequency to energy, or I'm going to go the reverse. I'm going to give you energy and ask you to go to frequency, frequency to this equation, and then go to wavelength. So you're going to use both equations, and frequency is what ties them in. So here we go. What's the wavelength of light that has an energy up? So we, we're starting with energy because we know that value. Energy equals Planck's constant times frequency. Energy is 4.50 times 10 to the negative 19 joules. Time or equals Planck's constant, 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th joules. Second times frequen uh, frequency. So divide both sides, and... The frequency is going to come out to uh, about 6.79 times 10 to the 14th hertz, or per second, or second negative 1, or per second, oops, second, I don't care what you write, as long as you get the frequency. Now that's part 1. Once you know the frequency, now you can use the speed of light to calculate wavelength. So speed of light equals wavelength times frequency. Speed of light is a constant. It's always 3.0 times 10 to the eighth meters over second. Wavelength is going to be what we're solving for, so there's our variable. And then we're going to take the frequency that we just got above, oops, 79 times 10 to the 14th. Remember, when you write it in an equation, write it with a line seconds on the bottom so you can see them cancel. In any case, get wavelength alone, divide both sides by the 6.79 number, 6.79 times 10 to the 14th, line over seconds. You see the line over second cancel, and you're left with meters, which makes sense because we're dealing with wavelength. So wavelength for this problem is going to come out to about 4.4, and I'll use two sig figs because of sig, uh, the speed of light. 4.4 times 10 to the negative 7 meters. So there's our answer for that problem. So we went from the energy, we use this equation, got frequency, then we plug frequency into this equation and got wavelength. Calculate the energy that has a wavelength of. Same idea here, you're going to be going in reverse though. You're starting with wavelength. Now this is in nanometers, you can't use your normal equations with nanometers because speed of light is in meters, so we have to do a quick conversion. So 645 nanometers times nanometers on the bottom. One big meter is equal to a lot of these little nanometers. So it's 1 times 10 to the ninth of these little nanometers. You could use the other conversion that I've explained before in the other videos if you want. But either way, it comes out to 6.45 times 10 to the negative 7th meters. Now that we have meters, we can take our wavelength and plug it into speed of light calculation. Speed of light, 3.0 times 10 to the 8th meters per second equals 6.45 times 10 to the negative 7th meters, so the meters are going to cancel, times frequency. Divide through by that, divide through by 6.45 times 10 to the negative 7th meters, meters cancel, you're left with per second. So frequency for this part is going to be about 4.7 times 10 to the 14th per second. Now, that's not where my final answer. My final answer says, what's the energy? But I do at least know the frequency, so now I can use the second equation. Energy equals Planck's constant times frequency. We don't know energy. We're solving for that, so there's my variable. 6.63 times 10 to the negative 34th joules seconds times 4.7. Here's my frequency. 4.7 times 10 to the 14th over seconds. See the seconds cancel, and I end up with joules. Energy is going to be, where am I, 3.1 times 10 to the negative 19th joules. So just going backwards, using speed of light, get the frequency, take frequency, plug it into this equation, get energy.